Donald Trump took the first step yesterday uh, to extinguishing the free and independent press in America. He has a, a multi-million dollar lawsuit against George Stephanopoulos and ABC News because when Stephanopoulos interviewed Nancy Mace, the Republican MAGA woman, um, when he interviewed her, he said, um, quote, let me, let me find the exact quote. Uh, he, he asked her if, he, he said, how can you continue to support Donald Trump when he has, quote, been found liable for rape, end quote. Now, just keep in mind, the judge in the case, this is the E. Jean Carroll case, the judge in the case, Lewis Kaplan, uh, wrote, quote, the jury's finding that Mr. Trump sexually abused Ms. Carroll implicitly determined that he forcibly penetrated her digitally. In other words, that Mr. Trump did in fact rape Ms. Carroll as that term commonly is used and understood in context outside of New York penal law. Now he wasn't convicted of rape specifically because New York law defines that as uh, sex organs. You know, you have to use your penis, you can't use your fingers. But this, and I'm getting way too graphic here, I'll stop right now, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, that, so they just, you know, they, they charged him with sexual abuse. But uh, this is, this is nuts. Uh, this is nuts. So, so anyhow, he, the judge said that he raped her. And so George Stephanopoulos asked Nancy Mace, you know, he's been found liable for rape, which is accurate, I believe. And... Trump sues both Stephanopoulos and ABC for millions and millions of dollars. And now he's found this judge down in Florida, a right-wing judge, who's a George W. Bush appointee, who said, uh, yeah, this, this case can go forward. And so, you know, Trump is crowing about it over on his Nazi-infested social media site, you know, bragging that, you know, he's going forward with this. Well, this is, this is nothing new. Shutting down the press with libel lawsuits is absolutely nothing new. This is how Putin shut down the press in, 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 in Russia when he took power on December 31st, 1999. He changed the nation's libel laws and then began suing independent press outlets. This is how Viktor Orban took over the press in Hungary. He, he sued independent, he changed the libel laws and sued all these independent groups. In fact, Orban came to, uh, when, when, excuse me, when um, uh, Republicans went to Budapest to celebrate Viktor Orban, he spoke at, their, at the CPAC conference and he said, have your own media. It's the only way I, uh, to point out the insanity of the progressive left. He says, uh, of course, the GOP has media allies, but they can't compete with the mainstream liberal media. My friend Tar Tucker Carlson is the only one who puts himself out there. His show is the most popular. What does it mean? It means programs like his should be broadcast day and night, or as you say, 24-7. So this is, uh, you know, this is what's going on here. Trump said, this is what Trump said on True Social yesterday. He said, a big win today in high floor a court case against ABC fake news and little George Schlapadopoulos. A powerful case. Before you know it, the fake news media will be forced by the courts to start telling the truth. This is a great day for our country, MAGA 2024. Now, he's been threatening this for a long time. Back in 2016, he said, one of the things I'm going to do if I win, and I hope we do, we're certainly leading, I'm going to open up our libel laws so when they write purposely negative and horrible and false articles, we can sue them and win lots of money. We're going to open up those libel laws. Um, in 2017, when he was president at a meeting in the White House with Justin Trudeau, he said it's frankly disgusting the way the president is, the press is able to write whatever they want to write. Um, in three months later, he, in a cabinet meeting, he was reading from prepared notes. And he said, we need to take a strong look at our country's libel laws, which are a sham and a disgrace. Our current libel laws uh, do not represent American values or American fairness, so we're going to take a strong look at that. We want fairness. You can't say the thing, things that are false, knowingly false, and be able to smile as money pours into your bank account. I think that what the American people want to see is fairness. And so now, after seven years of pushing this, Donald Trump finally has found a federal judge who agrees with him. And this is, this is a real problem. <coughs> Excuse me, because... George Stephanopoulos pointed out what a federal, what, uh, uh, actually I'm not sure if he was federal or state judge, but, but what Judge Lewis Kaplan said, he was essentially just quoting the judge. 
and t Trump is going after him for millions of dollars. If Trump is successful, they will be coming after not just reporters, not just commentators, they'll be co and not just radio and TV hosts. They'll be coming after bloggers. They'll be coming after social media participants. They'll be coming after Substack writers. They will be coming after news organizations in America, which probably should have been the opening paragraph of my article, but this is, this is a big deal. They're coming for us, the Republicans or at least Donald Trump. And if this guy becomes president, I mean, you know, it's, by the way, it's not just, um, it's not just Russia and Hungary that do this. Right now, the same strategy, using libel laws to shut down newspapers you don't like, which by the way is what John Adams tried to do in 1898, uh, 1798. And Jefferson reversed when he became president in, uh, in March of 1800. But anyhow, this, this strategy is currently in place and being used right now by strongman dictators or leaders in Turkey, Egypt, Thailand, Philippines, India, Pakistan, Indonesia, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, China, Iran, Belarus, Eritrea, Cuba, and Vietnam, among others. This is not an unusual or uncommon thing. They are coming for the press. Time to, time to wake up and pay attention, huh? This is serious stuff.